Hi, you lovely people. We're at one of our clients' new listings today. This house is gorgeous. Let's go have a look. So guys, it's Saga from Property Inc. We're here on the Haringey Ladder in N8, Beresford Road. If you didn't know, the Haringey Ladder is one of the most popular parts of Haringey. It goes back, way, way back to the 19th century. Haringey Ladder was actually one of the first areas to be built. So if you look at it from a map, from a bird's eye view, it actually looks like a ladder, hence the name. But I'm sure you're itching to get inside. Let's go have a look. Guys, as we come in, we'll start the tour today in the property's reception room. It's a big statement straight away as soon as you enter. It's a property that keeps period character throughout at the same time as contemporary splashes all the way through. Let's take you through some of that detail. We've got critical steel doors, which again is maybe a contemporary style, but very much goes with the type of character you see in Victorian properties of big double opening doors. One of the best doors that you can get out there. The developers have put wood paneling on the walls. The big points to note on this side that the developers have taken this all the way back to its skeleton, back to brick and done everything again. So we're talking replaster, repaint, replumb, rewire, all new fittings. Nothing has been left untouched in this property. The new owners will not have to lift a finger for a long, long time to come. Following on from the property's reception room, directly onto reception number two, which is also known as, of course, as the dining space. Great space to entertain. You can see you can get a very, very large table in the room itself. You've got very nice touches throughout. You've got bespoke light fittings, which really do bring out the spaces. The property is actually substantial in size. It's in excess of 1,900 square foot. That is massive for the area. On average, a Victorian house is usually coming in at 11, 1,200 square foot. So you can tell by that square foot that the property has plenty of space. So you have solid wood parquet flooring found throughout the ground floor of the property starts in the front all the way through so you've got a beautiful consistent feel throughout your ground floor so it's hard to miss this mammoth center island one of the biggest i've seen by the way great place to actually test your cooking skills you'll see quartz throughout quartz is without a doubt one of the best type of worktops you can get out there. Very, very high-end stuff. The developers have gone for a very strong color theme, as well as the, the lovely green that you see on the kitchen cabinets. They've gone for a secondary finish of gold found on the handles, found on the sockets. You've got a, a gold sink here as well. At the same time, a lot's been considered in relation to you know, actual living in the property and maybe having a big family living in the property. You've actually got two washer dryers fitted to make sure that those busy days nothing goes unwashed so moving on to the property's appliances once again the developers have spared no cost they've gone for one of the industry's leading providers they've got smeg fitted throughout you've got a five point cooking system here a recessed extractor more on that later you've got an integrated grill integrated oven check this out this is very cool you've actually got something to heat your plates on as well. Now, going on from there, you've got a floor to ceiling freezer, floor to ceiling fridge, plenty of space there. At the same time, you've got a few more bits integrated over here. This is more for your, your property geeks. You've got your mega flow system nicely tucked away and set away from everything over here. So the developers have been very innovative with their design throughout the property, found here in the kitchen quite a lot. So you see a wireless charging port over here. Now, if you go ahead, and I hope I do this right, if you go ahead, hold this down, you see it go green. Watch that. Very James Bond. So we talked about the solid wood flooring on the floor. What I didn't mention is beneath that, you have plumbed water 
underfloor heating, perfect for those cold winter days, get it nice and toasty in here. Another point to mention in terms of what the developer's done to create this space, they've actually done two extensions to the rear of the property. You've got an infill side extension over here with two massive skylight windows. You've got blinds fitted on them. They're electric, they are remote controlled as well. So you can obviously close those for privacy and you can open them up on a beautiful sunny day like this to get that light in. At the same time, speaking of light, they've created a big fixed panel window opening here. Again, pulling in that gorgeous sun coming in from the south. You also have another skylight fitted in here. We really are spot for light in this property. Got a massive one here. The sun's being kind, it's come out just for this. Beautiful light coming into this space. This space is actually quite confined away from the actual kitchen. You've got your dining space over there. So you have some flexibilities of what you put here. You know, whether it's a space that leads out to your garden, a nice opening, you can create another seating area here as well, if you wish. You've got aluminium sliding doors leading out to a gorgeous south facing garden. It's a beautiful sunny day, so the sun is really out for us today. I wish I'd bought my sunglasses. There's a lot to talk about in this garden space. Obviously you get a good shot of the extensions of the property and the nice openings that we have. So you've got a paved walkway up to the rear of the garden where you can have another confined seating area. The garden is full of different zones. You could be seated at the back, enjoying your space. You've actually got the area here for your green fingered characters. At the same time, you can also have garden furniture toward the back of the property where you might want to be having a barbecue on those lovely days. Good day for it today, it seems like. Moving on to the space here, you can see you've got bench seating going all the way around. Great space to entertain. You can just imagine it on a hot day, on a winter's day, you can enjoy this space. And finally, to crown the garden, the developers have added this gorgeous green foliage on both sides. It really does add to the space when you're actually relaxing here. Great space to take a picture as well. Adds a bit of texture to the environment and really ties in well with the greenery that's around you. So before we head upstairs, we need to talk about this massive opening that has been created here. Again, it's critical steel doors, some really top, top quality doors there, leading on to, well, you don't talk about a hallway too much in a property, but leading on to your gorgeous hallway, beautiful high ceilings. The paneling has carried on once again. You've got the iron cord radiators here as well. Leading on from the property's hallway, you also have a coal shoot cellar. You've got your access point downstairs. It's one of the rarer features on the ladder. Some properties have it, some properties don't. This is one of the ones that do, which is again, a great selling point to the property. Great for storage. If you're a collector, which a lot of us are, your hoarding habits can definitely be met with that seller. Coming on to one of the bedrooms of the property. This in fact is actually the smallest of the three, but still a great size. Plenty of space for all of your bedroom furniture with still space to maneuver. The developers have gone for a nice green finish with the white, very regal green, I must say. And then you've got a lovely aspect out to your south facing garden. The windows have been painted on the inside of the casement timber frame sash windows again, but that brings the whole space together. So then moving on to the property's main bathroom suite, you've got the underfloor heating in here again, which is great. You can see you've got a totally enclosed shower space with chevron marble tiling. You've got your boiler tucked away over here in the space. I know it's a basic thing to mention, but you also have a window, double glazed, timber framed again. The reason why we mention that is because you do get a lot of internal bathrooms which don't have windows. This one does, which is great, which is great for maintenance. You've got an elevated vanity unit here as well. And you've also got a very, very cool mirror just over here. So guys, moving on to bedroom two. Again, following on from the theme, you've got a different type of green used in this space with third of rails going around to add to that character. You can see, once again, a gorgeous aspect out to your south facing garden. And can't forget throughout the property, and I keep saying it, beautiful high ceilings. So leading on to the property's original main bedroom, 
This is one of the biggest rooms in the property. You can see it pans the whole width of the house. You've got a substantially large bay window again, pulling in that light. You've got another window there as well. So a very, very bright space at the same time, crowned with a very warm blue to give it that nice cozy feeling. Being one of the main bedrooms of the house, the high ceilings are showcased beautifully in this space. And at the same time, you've got two iron cord radiators fitted in the property to retain that lovely warm feeling that you have in this room. Now this is actually very, very unique. We've not seen much like this in the area. If you actually do think about it, normally this is plastered and it's more of an enclosed feeling where developers have used glass to open up that space, keep that continuous flow. Lovely sliding doors up to the property's loft conversion. Let's go have a look. We're at the top of the castle. We're in this massive bedroom space, full of light, indebted to its three huge skylights. You've got one on the ceiling, you've got two at the front. The developers have not forgotten about storage. Embedded just behind here is two storage spaces, which combine, you're definitely still gonna need space for your suitcases and those bits that we collect, because let's be real, we all have a lot. The final, pinnacle piece to this room, I would say, is the property's balcony. This is very, very rarely found. I've not seen many that actually have an outside space linking on to its actual bedroom space. So you've got that kind of inside outside feel. So we're calling this the property's main suite. One of the main reasons why not just the beautiful bedroom space here, but the fact that it actually leads on directly onto the property's ensuite. So think hotel room where you have a very confined space, a nice feeling of privacy at the same time. So you can really enjoy this living space. But going on to the ensuite, once again, nothing has been spared. You've got Luso stone sink over here, elevated vanity unit, Luso stone bath once again, and an absolutely stunning opening out to your south facing garden. Again, that's a bespoke opening. You don't really see openings like this in loft conversions. There's a lot here that the developers have done, which we've not seen before. You've got your WC tucked away over here, of course. This ensuite actually has three lighting circuits. You've got your main spotlights, you've got your wall lights as well, which gives a nice, very nice warm feel to it. And then to back that up, you've got LEDs to the floor. So if you are looking to have your very own spa day, then this space will be perfect. So guys, that brings our tour to an end. I hope you've enjoyed us showcasing the property for you. Lots to take in here, of course. So if any questions come to mind, please do get in touch. You can also head to our website, propertyinc.co.uk to find out more. Until the next video, see you soon.